Hey everyone, welcome back to Safe Fitness Training. I want to talk today about intensity and explain exactly why it is so important to reach the maximum intensity that we can during strength training. And for reference, to talk a little bit about exercise, I know some of you have probably seen this if you're familiar with Ken Hutchins' Super Slow and of course uh, Dr. McGuff's videos, he uses this flow chart very often. You know, a lot of people in gyms will think that exercise causes a change in the body, you know, like it's just this magical thing that happens, and, and that's, that's so untrue. And of course, not based on science, what we're talking about when we talk about exercise is we're imposing what the body perceives as a negative threat. That's the stimulus that is essentially our workout. And it's acted upon an organism, in this case it's our body, which then if our body has the appropriate resources, then it'll produce that adaptive response. I think it's important to reference that flow chart so we can understand what we're talking about when we talk about intensity. Because if that stimulus is not intense enough, then we will not be able to get the proper, like I said, adaptive response in our body that we want. Of course, when we talk about adaptive response, we're talking about getting all the muscle growth that we're seeking. And we're also talking about having our body flooded with the powerful myokines that I've discussed in so many other videos. I'm not gonna get into that, but I will leave that link down below. And of course, also there's a link down below to a free high intensity strength training introductory session where you can learn these methods, whether it's here in a studio, an auto studio like this or at home doing high intensity strength training. The only way to guarantee that you get that session for free is to just mention my name, Jonathan Gentry. And this is the largest high intensity strength training company in the world, The Perfect Workout. I like to think about intensity in kind of a funny way sometimes. In fact, I'll joke around with clients and I'll say, okay, y'all ready to fight the grizzly bear? And, you know, as silly as that may sound, it gives me the chance to explain the biological imperatives that our organism basically needs. Um, those things are pretty simple. Uh, pass on our genes uh, to uh, gather food and, and water, technically, uh, and to keep from being something else's food like a grizzly bear or a panther. And, you know, of course, in our modern day, most of us, myself included, are not going out and fighting grizzly bears or fighting for our food and, and having to put ourselves in um, very intense situations where we're fighting for our lives, where we may not be able to move again if we're, if we're caught and eaten or you know, something of that nature. And that was a very basic way that people would grow and adapt. And it's simply an evolutionary response to work being put in, in us challenging that ability to move. So essentially, and it's a little bit of a joke, but we are simulating a live fight against a grizzly bear when we do high intensity strength training. And going back to the flow chart itself, you know, in order for our, our organism, the body, to create that adaptive response that we're looking for, the stimulus has to be intense enough in order to produce that. We could spend a bunch of time in a gym doing tons of repetitions, moving weights around, basically. And, and that is what most people do. In fact, when people come to us here at The Perfect Workout, some people say, I've been doing this one routine for this long. And they're like, you know, I haven't gotten any results. As soon as they start out on our program with high intensity training, the body by science method, they see fast, rapid results because of that intensity. They're challenging their muscles just like we do in a very meaningful way. And that creates that adaptive response that we're looking for. And I mentioned in other videos, you know, what intensity is. And I'm just gonna recap that again. Um, it's a comparison between how much work we're doing right now and how much work we're capable of doing right now. Typically we'll start out 
and we'll be going at maybe 75% of our maximum capacity when we do the body by science method and then we'll just keep on increasing that intensity until we reach 100% of our maximum. That's our goal, that full fatigue that we're looking for. I also made a video about that as well. I'll drop that down below, talking a little bit more about fatigue. This is a very similar idea, this idea of intensity and the adaptive response through our body from the stimulus, which of course then is the workout. You know, we're missing some elements here too if we're not getting the right sleep, if we're not getting the right nutrition, if we're not drinking enough water, if we're not sleeping, our hormones are going to be all out of whack. And that's one of the biggest things that I think people tend to mistake. You know, we could, like I said, have that high intensity, get to that point. But in, in the flow chart, if we do not have that proper environment, then we're not going to also be able to produce that exact response that we want. So even like I said in one of my last videos, we can't be drinking booze all the time, uh, staying up all night, watching Netflix, and then you know we go to work in the morning, we've slept three hours, and then we repeat that process. It's not going to create the environment to where we're capable of growing. I think one of the most important things that I've learned in the past couple of years is how important perspective is. Perspective is everything. Because the way that we perceive things changes the context in which we go about them. It, it's, it's like this. And, and this is something, this is a whole topic I'm going to make a vid another video on about the philosophy of strength training. A lot of people, when they go to the gym, they think that they're there to lift weights. They want to move weights. And that that's going to create something for them, that they're going to get something out of that. That's incorrect. That's definitely not the way that it works. Um, now, if they're perceiving that, then what they're going to do is they're going to lift weights. But what we want to do is align our minds with the truth of it. We want to use the weights as a tool to create a high intensity to create that adaptive response from our organism by the stimulus, which is a high intensity strength training workout. It is a very simple cause and effect that happens through this entire process. When we frame it like that, that we want to stimulate our muscles, then we will be able to feel the full effect of the muscles, we'll be able to keep better form instead of hurting ourselves, and we'll get the most out of our workouts. They'll be more intense. And that's what we're looking for. A lot of people come to us at the perfect workout. Heck, I've heard other people say it in other high intensity training businesses as well. Tons of podcasts uh, all throughout the high intensity community. And, you know, they'll say, this person's been doing this workout for years. You know, they learned this in a magazine. They learned this uh, from their coach, their gym coach, you know, back when they were kids and they just kept doing it, you know? And did they get any results out of it? Not usually, but they just kept doing it and they thought that they were doing something productive. So not only are we wasting our time, it's almost like me going out and jogging. I made a whole video about that. You know, if, if jogging is an activity you like, by all means, do some jogging, just be careful of your joints. Um, same thing here, I guess, I guess. <laughs> If you enjoy uh, lifting weights that really don't have much of an impact on your body, I guess you could do that. Training. I'm not wasting my time with it because high intensity really is the best way to get the most out of our workouts. And that's the bottom line. But like I was saying, people come to us, people come to high intensity strength training trainers and they'll find huge improvements. In fact, just in maybe three to six months, a complete doubling of their strength. And they haven't had results the entire time, all of the years that they've used other methods. So uh, all of these philosophies when it comes to strength training are very important. The way that we look at exercise uh, changes everything about how useful it can be to us. So reframing these things 
in the proper scientific context is immensely important. We're looking to, and just to finish this up and say one more time, this flowchart, we're looking to create a stimulus on our organism that if we have the proper resources, will create that adaptive response. That is exercise in a nutshell. And I'm gonna keep referencing that on occasion because of how important that is. Um, the work has to be meaningful and that's the only way to challenge the grizzly bear, so to speak, to get those results, those health benefits that we're looking for. Um, and so look, just to finish all of this up, if you're having a hard time getting started with strength training and you want someone to show you the method, guide you through it, even if you just get maybe a three month package to get started, to learn exactly how to get into that full intensity, full fatigue, largest company in the world for high intensity training and the body by science method is the perfect workout. Simply mention my name, that's the only way to guarantee that you get a free session. And then from there, you can gauge kind of how you want to do this. And just like always, I would love it if you would like and subscribe my video, share this with people if it was useful for you. And as always, I hope that you put these things into action, regardless of how you do it. Train intensely, and I hope that you live a longer life through strength training. I'll see you on the next video.